What's up, everyone? Owen Diaz here. Good morning, everybody. Um, I've cleared my head after what happened last night, and that was a hard-fought game by both teams. And the Miami Dolphins could prove more in that game than any other game uh, this season because now we're um, now Tua can make good competition in cold weather. It was like freaking 20 to 30 degrees out there. And um, I was honestly shocked we kept it close by like three points. But um, I've seen uh, reports that um, there was uh, bad coaching by Mike McDaniel for um, not keeping this game alive after leading by eight in the fourth quarter. Which, um, that was not a... Um, yeah, that was not good finishing because when, whenever you play these games, you got to finish. When you got your lead, like you, all you can think about is just keeping it or building it up. It's that simple. But yeah, Mike McDaniel got outplayed. And unfortunately, the, Bill, the Bills, as what they've um, been proving all season and the past few seasons, uh, dominated. And I've seen Josh, um, um, even one viewer reached out to me, um, shout out to Jaden. Um, um, he told me about how Allen can escape and, um, escape the pocket and just, um, keep the, keep the ball long, even when he's uh, being pressured. I even saw that third down, saw that third down, um, before halftime. Was it third? Yeah, it was third down, third and goal. He, he. The clock ran out, and if it was incomplete, all they had to do was make it incomplete. But I think that I think that's gonna haunt us, though. If we if they never made that touchdown, I'm pretty sure we would um, be just fine. But this loss hurts us quite a bit. Doesn't hurt us much because we got sixty. Um, I've I've looked at NFL five thirty eight and we st we still control playoff destiny. Um, we did beat the Ravens, so if we end up tying them, we own a tiebreaker against them, so that's good enough for us. But we need to. But our division games, like I'm not sure how much uh, importance is the Packers Dolphins. On Christmas, but I've heard that Dolphins, um, Patriots, and Dolphins Jets um, matter the most because if we win, win both of those games, we're in the playoffs. It doesn't matter if we win or lose against the Packers. There could be a good playoff implication for um, if Packers, if we win against the Packers and we win either one of the divisional division games, but something outward is going to have to happen. So, worse. We're sitting in a, a tough situation. But all we need to do is just win. Just win. Just just adjust. Get get um get everything rolling. We have we have eight days to um redeem ourselves and actually get a win. Well, I'm not sure if the Packers Dolphins will even matter because um now we gotta look forward for Dolphins Patriots and Dolphins Jets with plenty of significance for our playoff hopes. And also one thing, one thing. To it, don't even blame Tua for the loss. You find every loss that uh, Tua like that the, the, you find every Dolphins loss and then you use that as an excuse to hate on Tua. This was not th Another thing I got I got so upset about last night. I know, like, I, I'm seeing comments in my other reaction videos that you want to blame Tua. It's like, it's like, God damn, it makes me so pissed to see, like, every Tua hater is like, it's just casual. It's just casual at this moment. Like, whenever whenever we lose, the, you know what the haters are? They're going to blame it on the quarterback because he runs the game. Like, he, he play, No, he does. It's like, no, it's not his fault.
Sure, the quarter sure the quarterback runs the plays, but he needs he needs the help. Tua Tua did a whole lot this game. He didn't even throw one interception. You can't tell me turn that's turn the ball over. You can't. Not even last week, because he didn't throw an interception as well. He didn't cause a turnover. I'm so sick of hearing Tua turn the ball over. Hey, look, the Dolphins lost. Oh, the, what happened, Tua? What happened? You make yourself look like complete idiots. Like, do you even hear yourself? The Dolphins, okay, take for example, the Dolphins versus the Bears. I'm not going to sit over there and blame Justin Fields for the loss. It's not his fault. It's it's why receiver, why receivers need to need to make the plays for him. He, I mean, th that's why Justin, I don't know well, what happened, but yeah, Justin, I, I don't blame Justin Fields for the loss because he, he, he was actually really dominant against us. Justin Fields, he ran like, I don't know how many yards that, that uh, long run was, but he made a long run for a touchdown against the, uh, against the, um, against the Dolphins. I am so sick of hearing this because, like, they're just doing, they're just, they're just, um, like, so quick to judge without even looking at your research. That's the problem with kids nowadays. They, they these guys, these, these grown ass adults act like kids sometimes. Grown, like, imagine being a grown ass adult and not doing your research. If you actually did your diligence, it was not Tua's fault. If you watch the highlights, it was not it, like Tua didn't Tua didn't slip. Tua didn't like play bad. He he's actually proved proved a lot this game. I've seen I've also seen him do it with Jalen Waddle. I saw that play live. It's like oh my god, Tua Tua is a freaking legend out there. Sorry, I got the sniffles right now in sinuses. But Tua, Tua is um, looking good in the cold. I even gave him a 50-50 because he, ha he has experience in the cold and the snow. Anyway, shout out, shout out to the Bills. for um, Shout out to the Bills. Congrats on making the playoffs. You guys will win. Also, you guys will win the division. There's no chance of us um, winning the division. You guys will beat. Um, you guys will um, will definitely win at least one of your one of your last uh, three games left. But I hope you guys beat the Patriots. That's all I gotta say. I hope you guys beat the Patriots because um, I heard that kind of helps our that kind of helps us. I'm counting on you guys. Uh, credit to Josh Allen. Credit to Stefan Diggs. Credit to Hines. Credit McKenzie. Everybody, everybody, everybody did their job in Buffalo. And I knew they were coming out for revenge after what we did in Week Three. I'm 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 gonna say this right now that we do got some good competition against the Bills. Unlike the Patriots or the Jets, we actually have some good competition. Patriots didn't even stand a chance. Jets didn't too. They won by the Bills won by eight points. They won against us by three points. But that game was actually really close and they're like a really really um down to the wire game. It was like it was it was down to the wire. It it got me up my feet. Up my seat, yeah. I'm hoping the Dolphins will make the playoffs. I still believe Tua will have his first playoff game. At this point, I don't care if we go far in the playoffs. I don't I don't care. I just want to see I just want to see Tua play a playoff game. I really want to see. Doesn't like Wild card, I don't care for a way. I want to see Tua do his. I want to see Tua do his job in the playoffs, especially throughout the regular season. Comment down below um, what what Tua will look like, and now to the last three games.
we've got to be explosive on offense. Um, bring our wide receivers. Um, I mean, hopefully um, they will stay healthy. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, um, Trent Sherfield, Cedric Will. Well, Cedric Wilson did. Cedric Wilson had his breakout game by like one or two receptions, but which is one or two receptions. But I still think the three good wide receivers so far are Hill, Waddle, and Sherfield. I believe in Sherfield. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna hope for the best and hope we win out. I've even I even said like we've have I have confidence in the last um, three games winning. I, I I didn't care if we I didn't care if we lose to the Bills. Well, I'm well I'm in between about caring and not caring. But Dolphins, thank you for a, thank you for a phenomenal game. You guys played your best. But in the but in the end, we just gotta move on. And um, focus on the ne the the, um, the last three. Why well, I say next three? You guys take care. Have a great Sunday, and let's hope for the best for the Miami Dolphins heading forth to the next year.